Hello strategy friends and welcome back to another round of Cossex 2 Battle for Europe. Today we are going to watch a game between the blue player Lancer who is playing for the nation Prussia and the purple player with the short name A he is playing for Poland. So let's dive right into it. At the beginning it's the usual order of building. Um, so first the town center and here are the barracks of Prussia and the player A is doing the same. He builds um, a town center for Poland and he's going for a pretty far forward barracks to throw in his troops more quickly. And as you can see um, on the map you have um, four start villages, so food, uh, food here, um, iron there, and coal here and of course gold and on the left side uh, of the map on the bottom you can see neutral villages um, they can be captured and should be captured to gather more um, more resources for your city and on the um, top right corner of um, the map you can see um, further neutral villages uh, which are to be captured of one of the players. So the first troop is ready for Lancer, his Prus Prussian uh, musketeers. And they are pretty, pretty bad at melee attack. You can see here seven, but um, the shooting, the, sh the shot damage they do is average. And the Polish player, he is training fusiliers and they are a little bit better at melee attack so they have um, 10 and Lanza is going for the neutral iron village he wants to capture it and it won't be a big problem because he has 120 soldiers in formation it's very important in Cossacks 2 and he has to beat only these uh, this little squad of policemen which contains of 30 soldiers So let's see, he managed to capture it and now this iron village, just, uh, iron village um, produces food for his city and pack horses, you can see here, um, transport it to this storehouse. And now uh, the next unit uh, of Lancer is ready and it is sent to the bridge here because the um, player A also sent his troops here. And you can also see that he's already uh, building a blockhouse, which is a defensive structure and shoots muskets out of it. And he builds this, uh, in, and he builds this defensive structure with the sappers in order to block any further advance of Prussia and I think it's a pretty good tactic so you can cut off the enemy but let's see how it works out Lancer is doing in the meantime um, um, is capturing in the meantime further villages next up is the food, vi food village so food is the most important resource I think in the game and it's very important to capture a second food now village besides your start us. food village um, very quickly in order to gain more food for your troops. And the first cavalry unit for Lancer is ready, we have no mounted chasseurs. So that's one of the advantages of Prussia. Um, they can build quickly a lot of cavalry. And we are gonna t we're gonna see the first battle of the game I think I think. So two Prussian uh, two Polish units are advancing to the Iron Village which Lancer just captured and they are supported by mounted Ulans and they are 
an advantage and should win the fight unless Lancer is able to bring in more troops and here are they the next musketeer squad and now it's even and the player A tries to build a blockhouse which is pretty risky in that, in that situation but you can try it and the mounted chasseurs of Prussia attacked the mounted U-lands and now the Prussian infantry is advancing but is sent home by the two Prussian infantry squads now the next unit of Poland is advancing and tries to shoot the reloading musketeers but they are not in a good position I think because they can get shot from both sides here and they are also sent home but there's one squad of for Poland left and the player A is now trying to the enemy has captured, the village. capture the village which was successful but another troop of Prussia is now joining the fight and maybe Lancer is able to get the iron village back and it seems like this because he has now the advantage because another infantry squad is moving in and now the other infantry squad of Prussia now tries to kill the sappers which are building the blockhouse and that's very important because the blockhouse would make it very hard for Prussia to advance and it would be complete uh, the player Lancer would be completely blocked because there's also a blockhouse we are out of ammunition. so let's see how that fight turned out the Ulans have Ulans and the Fusiliers have defeated the Prussian infantry and now Prussian cavalry cavalry is joining the fight so there's a battle for the iron village here Prussia also builds a blockhouse in order to prevent his barracks getting attacked and now Lanza sends the foes approaching. Prussian infantry the to capture these, uh, this gold village which already have been captured by Polish infantry the enemy is not far away. and now here's a big battle between the Prussian infantry and the Polish fusiliers Yeah, Prussian musketeers are preparing and getting a line. Maybe they will attack the Polish fusiliers right now. Let's see. So they are doing a little dance and that wasn't the best maneuver I think, but it turns out that the fight is pretty even so one Prussian squad was sent home but the two others remained and the Polish squads retreated a little bit and 75 fusiliers are holding this iron village and here on the other front you can see the Polish fusiliers are blocked the advance of the Prussian musketeers who wanted to capture the gold village and now this part of the front comes, or comes to a halt now you can see Prussian cavalry is ready and is sent to the iron village and 
the Prussian, uh, the Polish fusiliers are advancing. And the um, Prussian musketeers have to reload. It's a critical situation. And the mounted chasseurs of Prussia are joining the fight. And there were many casualties for the Prussian musketeers, but they are able to hold the ground. You can see it here, the red bar. So they have a high bonus in melee attack if they are in a defensive position. And now I think they will send the, the Polish fusiliers home. So it was a pretty close fight. But the Prussian musketeers luckily could obtain their, uh, could um, hold their position. And now two squads of musketeers are fighting against the fusiliers here to recapture the Iron Village. And now finally Lancer man managed to recapture the Iron Village. And iron is very important for Prussia because Prussia only has troops which uh, needs uh, 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 which needs um, iron for production or which need iron for production <laughs> and let's see what A is doing, he's building more troops and he's also building um, stables for heavy cavalry and he's now sending his troops to go over this bridge, I think. And Lancer is preparing for that threat and he placed a unit of cavalry here. Sir, we're out of so one squad of the Polish are uh, fusiliers are now holding this position to block any no further center. advance of Prussian musketeers. And now he's attacking a is now attacking on other sides of the front and he's crossing the bridge in order, I think, to attack this food village of Lancer. And he tries to uh, bypass the blockhouse. Now Lancer has to react to this threat because his food village is very important. A lot of peasants here As you say. who are producing food for Lancer and he has to um, protect them from the Polish infantry. Now one squad of so-called Black Core is ready for Lancer. And they are better in melee combat, you can see that. But let's see this fight here. So the Prussian Musketeers were able to make one Polish squad disintegrate. And now the Black Core is joining the fight. And I have to say, the Black Core is my favorite. Um, unit because they have so stylish uniforms, in my opinion at least. But now it's a little bit dangerous because two squads of mounted Ulands have succeeded and there's also one squad of Fusiliers left. So the Black Core of Prussia has to do the work, but it's pretty hard against so many enemies and they need reinforcements. The the fire. And finally, the Polish fusiliers are, disintegra are disintegrating and now the threat here is finally um, prevented by Lancer and now um, A is sending grenadiers which are uh, very 
strong infantry soldiers. We're low on gunpowder. So the Prussian musketeers are retreating, they haven't fully reloaded, so it's a good idea to retreat and reload calmly. And now there are two units for Lancer here, the Black Corps and the Musketeers. And the Ulans are attacking the Mount Chasseurs. That wasn't a very good idea, I think. Because they are getting killed by the Musketeers and the Mounted Chasseurs of Prussia. And now A is trying to bring in his Grenadiers. They threw their grenades and now they're shooting. But the Black Core is also shooting and probably will send them home, I think. We're out of gunpowder. Okay, I think now it would be a good time to advance for Lancer. So In let's see how the game develops. It seems like A is now changing his mind and maybe he wants to attack on this side again. Now you can see Lancer is building uh, an artillery depot in order to build a howitzer, I think. To destroy that defensive structure, that blockhouse of Poland. And now A is advancing again. And he tries his luck here at that front. But he faces veteran Prussian musketeers, so it won't be easy for him. You can see it here, they have plus 16 in melee damage because they are veterans and have killed many soldiers. So that's a very good thing um, of Cossacks too, I think, because your soldiers are getting better and better and it's not all about quantity. Instead, it's about um, quality more, I think. More about quality. But they were frightened because <laughs> it were too much troops here of Poland. But it's not very clear that Poland is able to advance because now the Polish no infantry has to reload and the Prussian infantry is ready for a counterattack. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, that was a very devastating effect. Two musketeer squads of Prussia shot a volley and made two squads of Poland disintegrate. But reinforcements are here for Poland. Now the artillery depot is ready for Lancer and he's building a howitzer. Now the musketeers here are retreating because they have to reload, but the Black Core tries to block the enemy. And you can see here the blockhouse is shooting against the Polish infantry. Okay, not now, because Lancer is low on, uh, on coal, you can see it here. And Poland has one howitzer and I think A is targ targeting the howitzer here against the blockhouse to destroy it. Now you can see the Cavalry of Prussia advancing for a counterattack. And Sir, it was successful, and the Polish grenadiers were sent home. So, if your unit disintegrates, the soldiers automatically walk back to uh, the barracks, and then you can uh, form another unit and destroyed. bring them back again into the fight. Okay, let's see the economy and city of Poland. 
The enemy's close. Now builds uh, sec second stables to train more cavalry. And that was, I think, a very good move of Lancer. He, try, um, he managed to kill another squad of Polish Grenadiers. And let's see. We have lost our gun crew. Ah, okay. The howitzer was ready for a Lancer, I think. Just build it. But as you can see, the howitzer here is behind that building and he has to um, yeah, move it now and then he can destroy this blockhouse and go across the bridge and attack. Maybe it was a little bit or it is a little bit defensive of Lancer to not throw in his troops immediately. Enemy gun obliterated. Because that blockhouse would only demoralize um, the black horse waiting here a little bit so he could um, could um, advance and it wouldn't be a big problem. And if you look on the map you can see the neutral villages all were captured by Lancer. Um, on the bottom of the map and on the um, top of the map all neutral villages New were um, captured by A. So as far as economy is concerned I would say it's pretty even. And now A is preparing for his next attack on this side. On this side. But at first I think the he has to destroy away. the blockhouse. We can lose the village. Only one guard troop is remaining. And I missed the fight here. So Lanza is trying to open another front and break through. So Prussian cavalry against Polish infantry. And I think they will manage to break their lines. Yes. Successful manu maneuver. And now I think it's a little bit problematic for A because he has no troops in reserve and his neutral villages now are unprotected and the Prussian musketeers here can advance and capture one village after one uh, after village. And finally Prussian grenadiers are can be seen on the battlefield. They are also very strong in melee damage and now can try to repel the Polish attack here. You can see the howitzer of Poland is destroying the blockhouse. And now many Hulans are waiting to attack the musketeers here. We're low on gunpowder. And they are able to break their lines, but now Lance is bringing more troops in and can advance and make the enemy retreat. And finally, he crossed that bridge because the blockhouse here is destroyed. We are out of ammunition. And now the Polish reinforcements can be attacked on that line. So the Ulans were very strong and could repel the attack of Lancers infantry but there's also one squad of musketeers left and they shoot the Ulans. A lot of Prussian cavalry is ready but there's also a lot of Polish cavalry so let's see how the fight turns out. One squad of grenadiers for Poland left. Here you can see Prussian infantry advancing and they are trying 
to support the Prussian cavalry. Now it looks pretty good for Lancer, I think. But it's not certain that he will make the breakthrough um, to the Polish barracks, which would be decisive, I think. In the meantime, the musketeers here have captured the gold village. Now the two players need a little break to organize their troops, I think. So here on this side we have two mounted squads of mounted U-lands. And here we have, have uh, uh, three squads of Prussian cavalry, but they are a little bit decimated. We need gunpowder. And now Prussia is trying to break through. Could also bring one Black Corps squad in support. Maybe that's enough. We'll see. Prussian infantry is also, uh, Prussian grenadiers are also joining the fight. And now it looks pretty good for Lancer. And here you can see the Prussian musketeers advancing and also capturing the iron village here of A. Now Lancer is also bringing his musketeer squad in the, into the fight. But it seems like a is able to repel the enemy. It was a bit of a surprise. But it's still a very close fight. So it's vital now for Prussia to bring in more troops. This, uh, this squad is to be refilled and then um, thrown into the battlefield again. Now the Polish cavalry makes an attack on the food village again, but luckily there's one um, grenadier squad which is protecting it, and hopefully they will manage to win against the mounted Ulans. We will see. But let's also see here on that front what's happening here. Grenadiers against grenadiers, and here's a big fight for the food village, but I think Prussia is able to win. And now there's no Polish infantry left. You can see it here, only one squad of Ulands. Hans also has captured this village. So I think that's it for A. And the game ended. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment and like and subscribe if you are in for more videos. See you and have a nice day.